Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So today we will be taking a look at another commander that comes with the Cartridge faction, the Commander Hashtrubal. He will be different from Hannibal having more mobility and a lot of supporting power. So I'm guessing I can start with the skills. For the first skill, Ashtrupal has Flying Columns. It is a very short charge with a really short cooldown. As you see, it gives a lot more mobility bonuses, movement speed and acceleration. The impact damage of this skill is pretty much secondary, and it can still throw your opponents around a bit without the impact damage. For the second skill, Hashtrupal has Deep Pockets. It pretty much gives your friendly unit that you need to target a melee defense, melee attack and some moral support. This buff can probably make a lot of difference, give some units age over the others, or he can just buff his own units if he doesn't want to support. And for the final skill, Hashtrupal has Bribe. In short, it's a debuff that reduces the opponent's melee effectiveness. It reduces their melee weapon damage and melee attack. It has quite short range and duration, but I'm guessing these can be upgraded. All of these skills, they were around tier 6 and I think they weren't fully upgraded. So the developers played Astropel with cavalry and melee infantry. Or more precisely, sword shield infantry. So the cartridge cavalry is really light. So because Astropel has such a weak charge as his uh, tier 1 commander skill, he can actually use the charge of the units as well. Those usually have a bit more impact damage. Another special thing about the Carter's Cavalry is that they have javelins. They can throw them like once a minute. It won't do huge damage and it will take 3 seconds to throw. But it can be an annoyance. That is how the Carter's Cavalry is built. They are meant to be fast harassers and with Ashtrupal they can even be buffers or debuffers. Right now you will see how the cavalry throws javelins. They don't target it, they just use it as a focus fire. With buffing and all the debuffing, probably throwing the javelins at the back of the enemies is the best solution. Also thanks to the charge and the light cavalry, these units are highly mobile. They probably aren't the best units to use as flankers for melee infantries, but I'm guessing they will handle it slightly better than the Arminius with his light cavalry. As you can see here, using two charges can help you get out of a bad situation really fast. Just because the unit is light, it doesn't mean that it isn't viable for combat. It is excellent still for hunting down archers and so. But he might not last against the Germanicus for too long. It's probably smarter to keep your unit's charge for any sort of harassment or flanking. And the commander's charge as a mobility tool. So next up, we have the Cartridge Infantry, or Sword Shield Infantry. They have a similar skill to the Studo that will increase their arrow block, but it doesn't affect the whole unit like, it will just affect the two first rows of the unit. You can see it here, the first and second row are affected. And the units will take a bit less range damage. The Astropel's mobility charge can be an excellent tool for infantry. They can use it to maneuver themselves, they can use it to chase down opponents and with the bribe they can also weaken the opponents they have chased down and finish them off. Perhaps they can even chase down ranged units. He isn't as strong as the Germanicus so using his infantry to go head on with the legionnaires or armored legionnaires isn't that viable. But he has mobility and we should probably use it to the best of our advantage. Also, buffing friendlies and debuffing enemies can make a lot of difference in beating back opponents. The only predicament I see with Commander Hashtrupal is that the buff and debuff might not be as significant as some other buffs or debuffs in the game. For example, Commander Sala's Prescription or Germanicus' Vengeance. So you still can't take them head on and debuffing them might not make that much of a difference. I might be a bit too skeptical here because I really like the idea of buffing and debuffing your opponents while you're still highly mobile, but I'm just speculating and they will hopefully be better than I imagine. So I'm guessing that most of us know that the open beta starts on the 22nd of February. The game's servers should be offline from the 19th to the 22nd of February. Of course, for the open beta there will be a reset. All of your commanders and units will be resetted. 
so I'm guessing that the Immortals initiative will help us get back on our feet. At least for those of us who had some victories. I'm actually really waiting for the cartridge, I want to see how they play out in this current meta of ours. And hopefully they'll be awesome. So this was it about the Hannibal's brother and the second commander of the cartridge, Commander Hastropol. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.